Yeah, that's right. I have not brushed my hair today and I look like shit. I also haven't shaved today and on top of that, this is one of those incredibly badly planned out vlogs because basically it's not really planned at all. It is in fact just a basic standard vlog. I'm doing this because I haven't actually uploaded anything to YouTube for a long period of time and that's really is starting to piss me off. I, I, I've enjoyed making videos, I still enjoy making videos, I enjoy uploading them, I enjoy discussing things with people, um, having a go at people who've got different ideas than myself, which is basically what everyone does on YouTube, so get over it. Uh, and it's not really all that important, let's be honest about that too, because like, you're going to carry on think of whatever you think, I'm going to carry on think of whatever I think, I'm just going like, to interject once in a while, maybe something I'm going to say is going to help you to see things from a different point of view, or maybe yet again it won't, okay? But I've been working hard, okay? I have been working hard and, um, you know, building things up. I've been doing a bit of writing. I've been, like, taking calls left, right, and center, apart from today when it's really rather quiet, which is another reason I've got time to actually get a bit of footage done. Uh, now, I've been going through a bit of um, stress, really associated with trying to get the next stage of my own little self-business working because I've got various things I want to achieve. My, my, my own personal long-term goal is to make sure I can get this camera standing upright without it falling over on my desk. Well, actually, no, that's a very ultra short-term goal, okay? My own personal long-term goal is for me to go self-sufficient. That's what I always wanted to do. To do that, you need to have capital. You need to have money. So, and also I want, I've got this thing that, like, if I'm going to make money, I'm going to do it in a manner which is going to try and help people. That's one of the reasons that sort of like led me into this whole like, I'm going to be a tarot reader kind of thinking, okay? Oh yes, and uh, my shirt looks crap. Okay, get used to it. It's because I'm not actually going out somewhere like big and important today. Therefore, I can dress down, I can look like shit, and it doesn't actually matter. And of course, I'm broadcasting this on YouTube, which is not like everybody on the face of the fucking planet. It's just like a small selection of people, so that's okay. So, I did the qualification in nutrition. I am now officially a qualified nutritionist. Went through a few struggles in setting up some listings on Ingenio, which is just like Keen.com, but Ingenio is there for professionals. Uh, it took a bit of time, a few days, for them to get like the listings approved. They've just recently done an update. There's a few teething problems with that. Haven't yet had a call on Ingenio. But, you know, I've, I've been giving people unofficial and informal nutritional advice anyway because that's what I'm qualified to do. Uh, but I, you know, I want to make this like my job. I'm currently only charging, what, 90, well, 75 cents for those of you in the USA per minute. And I think it's 90 cents if you're in the UK calling me because of the way the system works. It's all complex and being rerouted by the USA and stuff. But it's, uh, you know, it's another way of, of me getting there. Then I've been trying to get um, a good company to provide me with, like, leaflets for local distribution around my area so I can draw people to my Oxford Therapeutic Coaching website uh, and say, yeah, I'm local, I can do house calls. Yes, uh, insurance, sorted out, no problem. And I also do online, which for you would be cheaper because it means I don't actually have to travel anywhere, so I'm not going to charge you extra for that. It's going to be less inconvenient, so I won't have to dress up smart. Um, but finding a good, reliable company that's actually like um, got people in it who have the ability to call you back when they've promised is proven to be a bit of a challenge because like... As I'm doing my work on Keen, I'm working on PSL, I'm working on Live Person, as well as having my account open on Ingenio, I haven't got the time to fuck about. Alright, if someone says they're going to call me, call me back 9 o'clock in the morning, they bloody well better do it. Okay? Or, well, you know, I can take my business elsewhere. Because I'm certainly not going to lose custom and lose reputation on the sites I'm already working on and with the clients I've already got. Just because there's one company who's messing with me. Okay? So that's where I'm standing like at that point. It's just like, do your job. When I did self-employed recruitment, I had this um, system which is called a CRM sort of app, which is basically just using Microsoft Outlook. And I could type in the dates and times of the callbacks and it would just like pop stuff up, you know, give me a little pop-up saying, in five minutes you've got to call this person. So I would know throughout the day who I've got to call back, whether it's a candidate or whether it's a client, okay? And I kept on top of everything. 
one of the bigger companies that I've been chatting to about leaflet distribution doesn't even seem to have that in place, which makes me think, can they really do their job? You know, I mean, you know, just like, ee. So, you know, as far as like blood pressure high or blood pressure low, which one is it? Well, obviously, we're having plenty of omega-3. I've, as I've done this course on nutrition, I know full well what foods I should be having and how I should be preparing them to get the best benefit from, you know, from the food, get the omega-3s in, um, keep the blood pressure low, work on the LDL cholesterol and all that kind of stuff. Um, but in this particular case, it's been a question of, <laughs> because uh, it shouldn't be frustrating, okay? I got a couple of quid, I want to spend it. Okay, I'm thinking of spending it with you. Can you do me a favor, please? And just answer the fucking phone when I call you and call me back when you say you're going to and respond to your emails, you know, it's... Um, please? Is that possible? Two plus two equals four? Okay, so maybe you people can just fuck off. Oh dear, oh dear. So, uh, it's been one of those sort of like trials and tribulation kind of like moments of... Because, uh, you know, you get an idea you put your heart into it, you put work into it, you build it up, and then you've got to deal with people in the commercial world. I'm going to a networking event tomorrow. I do this uh, once a couple, couple of times a month. And this is when you meet people, you tell them what you've been doing, what you're up to, and how you like, how you do what you do, and who you can help, and you be really professional, and look good, and everything I'm not doing on this one particular video, as you can tell. Uh, and hey presto, you, you, you um, get your name out there. Maybe I'll be asking some people there if they know someone who can actually help you. And I've been working out how to sort of like pitch it when the time comes uh, as to how to get stuff done. So wish me luck on going in with that one. Uh, and I'm hoping to get t more time together to get it more organized so I can get back to making videos properly. Because I've been a lazy bastard. And I think that there's no other word to describe. Well, no, I haven't been lazy. I've been working, okay? But as far as my youtuber -y, I've been getting pretty fucking lazy. And that's, um, that's not good. That's not good. Because I've really enjoyed it all these years. You know, I, 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 can't, I can't stop doing it. If I could stop doing it, I wouldn't be doing it now. Hmm? See what I mean? So, I'll speak to you again very soon. And... I think it's something cool to say.